like my house is a wreck and I need to get it in order. So of course I'm starting off by adding my or water and all that stuff. So apparently this still had some leftovers, so I'm not going to add lemon to it because it had something else that I was, I think it was like coffee cake is what was in here. So it needs to kind of like finish out. I ordered some markers for a different style of coloring that I wanted to do. I usually only color with um, crayons and colored pencils, but I'm going to be coloring with markers too. And so I wanted to get these markers. I forget what they're called. A what? Uh, oh, 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 And then I'll show you guys my haul from Hobby Lobby, which I forgot to show yesterday. Um, okay. So first I'm gonna get out my big, I do duplicate this because this stays in my office and this comes with me in my purse. And so I like to have a record of like my weekly to do relatively easy for me. Dollar Tree hauls are always easiest for me to film because I'm just like naturally the most passionate about it. Um, so next week is going to be DT week. So um, All right, so I have a heavy week next week. Again, just kind of like starting my new schedule, plus it's DT week, which means I'm adding an extra video in the mix, plus I've got sponsorships to film, which, oh my God, I just remembered. <laughs> I did not write that in my, um, in my office just then. Anyways, so... Today is going to be kind of my day that I'm going, going to relax. I'm also going to work on Etsy orders a little bit later today. It's Sunday, so um, yeah, I don't really need to like rush because the post office isn't even open today anyway. So I'm going to work on my Etsy orders later and get them dropped off in the morning. And so anyways, I want to be able to relax. But I just don't think I can relax. Um with the house feeling messy but i don't even know if i have the strength as well if that makes sense like i don't know you guys i don't know what to do with myself i'm waiting for one more thing to come in from amazon so i can color with my markers 
But also, let me show you guys my, my haul. So, <laughs> funny, but Micah gave these back to me, um, which I knew, how do I say this? That doesn't sound good, but um, I knew that Micah might not like these coloring books. Um, I was literally just like taking a chance when I bought them. And I knew that when I bought them, I was like actually kind of secretly hoping she wasn't going to like them um, because then it would totally have been fine because these are the coloring books that I actually want to color in with markers. But I got them for her nonetheless, just in case like, cause these were pretty popular on TikTok. And I was like, maybe she's gonna love these. But Micah doesn't really like simple images. She likes the more complex images. And so interestingly enough, I got myself the nice little town. If you watch my Amazon haul, you saw that I got myself the nice little town Halloween coloring book, the witch one. I gave that to her and she loved it um, because she loves nice little town. And then I kept these, but she, of course she did not tell me. She was never like, oh my gosh, I don't like these. I don't want them. She never said anything. She's not like that at all. She took them graciously and loved it, you know? And I just kind of went to her room and I was like, these aren't your thing, are they? And you know, of course then she was just like, she smiled and she's like, no, she was like, they're really cute. And she's like, I just need something a little bit harder. And I was like, you know what? Totally fine because I'll take them. So anyways, that's a weird story. Um, then here's my haul from the Happy Planner. I am gonna be doing my planning videos again. I wouldn't say it's like one of my highly requested videos, but I do get asked a lot about this. And so, the thing is, is that not everyone, I get, I don't know. <sighs> I'm going to be filling in my planner videos into my vlogs. They're not going to be separate videos, by the way. So just FYI on that. Um, but I went in to get glue at Hobby Lobby and found that Happy Planner was 40% off. Now, I don't even know how that happened. I'm going to see if I can find the discs that are clear like this. Um, or I'm gonna have to take it back and get another one. But I have really struggled with picking out my happy planner. I'll tell you guys that straight away. Um, it is a different layout than what you're used to seeing me in the past years. So here's the layout. Very different from the little boxes that I would use, but I'm still going to plan the way that you've kind of seen me plan, if that makes sense. I'm actually gonna mix it. I'm also going to use Happy Planner stuff, which I never used to be into when I used to plan. I loved, you know, my own printing out my own stickers and doing all of that. Um, so I don't wanna take this apart in case I need to like return this. Let me do a little quick search and see if I can find these clear discs because I really like the clear discs. I know that you can get other discs and you can switch them out, but I don't see myself switching out the clear discs. So if I can't, Happy Planner clear discs. Let's see if they have them. Oh, they do. Is this one and a half inch? I don't know but they don't have like the cute little heart. I'm gonna have to go return this to Hobby Lobby, but I'm gonna go get the same exact one. I, yeah. Anyways, then I got these little sticker packs. Let me get, um, oh, ever since I switched out my rug, this chair rolls so much better. The other one was like thick and fuzzy and this chair was struggling with that, but, um, But yeah, so I wanted to just get like, you know, some simple labeling stickers. I'm not gonna like really flip through the whole thing. Um, I am not good at flipping through stuff. I really wish I was, but I'm not. I don't understand why I can't just flip through like, an, I don't know how teachers do it how they like read a book like this way. I just, I don't even know. But, so this has like, um, this is the household essentials. 
And then I got this one, which is like a bright budget. So it has like calculators. These are all the sheets if you want to pause and take a look. I got it for the calculators. I'm not going to lie. Um, I thought those were so cute. And then there's a bunch of other really great ones in here too. And then I got this one, which is also budget. And this was $6.99, but Happy Planner was 40% off. So a lot of budget, you know, car payment due, TV bill due, house payment, um, electricity, phone bill. I really like these. So there's that. Um, I'm in the process of paying down like all of my credit cards, but I have to remember that when I pay off my credit cards, I can't just not use them because that will also hurt my credit. Um, there is a very specific method to using your credit cards and you have to use a percentage of your balance every time and then you have to pay it. And there's like a very unique way, like go watch, um, what's her name on TikTok? Color My Credit. I think it's, she's called Color My Credit. And she literally breaks down like, okay, if you're, if you're, you have your credit card payment is due on a certain date, but then you also have a statement date and you have to figure out each credit card has a different statement date. And sometimes the dates also change, by the way, like, and that makes it even more, it's a whole, but anyways, you have a statement date and a payment date and you have to use a certain percentage of your balance, usually it's like 20%, but some people have said even like lower. But so like if you have a hundred dollar limit, you use 20 bucks of that. You don't ever use more essentially. And then you use it sometime after the statement date, but then you pay it off or something before the pay. I don't know. It, it, there's a whole thing. So my point is, I feel like this will kind of help me tag when I need to do that. Um, then I got this one. This one's called Boardwalk Ice Cream. You know, it's just really cute. I love the pastel colors. Um, like I said, I'm going to be planning this way with these stickers, but then I'm also going to be using my own stickers as well. So like making my own stickers like I used to. Um, I actually want to do like a rainbow bright theme and a strawberry shortcake theme straight off the bat. And I have yet to do a Goonies theme. And it's funny because I still have all the stuff I hauled from Dollar Tree years and years and years ago for my Goonies theme. I literally bought like pirate stickers and pirate coins and pi like money. I have yet to do that theme. Anyways, then I got this as a filler. Um, this is just like a, yeah, it's fill paper. And then it has like getting things done by the time. So I can add them in between like my sheets so that I can break down things by time. Cause I really like that too, because I know when I need to like run errands and get certain videos and certain other things done, that's not like not YouTube related. So I feel like this would be a really good paper. And I'm gonna do a set up my happy planner with me. Um, I just obviously need to go fix this, which is kind of disappointing. All right, I'm just gonna check on a couple of things that's not YouTube related and do a little bit of work with that. Um, this has to do with some of like my traveling that I do as well. And um, I know I get asked like what it is, but honestly, I just wanna like keep all that separate. There's certain things that like, I guess I'm comfortable showing and then just certain things I, I'm not, um, so.
All right, now I'm gonna work on my markers. They come with a color swatch. And so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it all. And that way it just kind of helps you to decide like what colors you wanna work with. Anyone that I see have these markers, they always have their swatch. So I wanna go ahead and do that as well. So I'm gonna start with this one. And I gotta find the corresponding marker, obviously. So this one is E120 Reddish Brass. So E, I gotta look for the E's. Oh, <laughs> here it is right here. It is also dual ended. So this is the brush tip. And then I got the chisel tip. You can also do the brush tip and then the, I forget the other tip. It looks more like the brush kind of, but it's like harder, if that makes sense. The brush kind of has like, you know, if you push this down, it'll, I don't know if that makes sense. Ooh, this one. I'm so excited for this one. This is the colorless blender. This is what's gonna help you blend your colors because that's what's really cool about this marker set is that you can actually like blend them. So that's very exciting. But what color? E220 sand. I feel like this is not gonna be as easy as I thought. Now I need E310. It's right here. I will say these markers are expensive. Um, I just went ahead honestly and bit the bullet and got the whole thing because I knew that I eventually I would just get all the colors, um, but you can buy them in like separate quantities. Next, I need E432, whatever color that is, and it's right here. And now I need E470, which is T rose, right here. Now I need the color black brown which is br208 i'm struggling to find that one so we're gonna do wg050 which is warm gray i feel like i'm going the, about this kind of all wrong so i'm looking for all my e's and then i'm grouping them together right now so i found e432 and i just need to find it oh i already did this one so i already did that one and I'm just gonna keep grabbing, here's another E. And this is Pink Flamingo E030. And we'll just see where she is on the list. Okay. Sand white is on this card. So E two zero, which is sand white right here. And then we have E five zero, which is E orange. Right here. All right, so we got E five zero, which is clay. Just on. And then we have E four zero, which is khaki. Just right here. And then we have. You just serious
found one. This is E050 natural or lipstick natural. I found one more pale pink fruit, which goes right here. That completes the E's on this one, but I still have one more E I'm trying to find, just Cocoa Brown. I found it. Here's what it's looking like. I cleared out one whole section and these are all my E's. So now I'm gonna move on to the next one. I think I'm gonna do all the bees. So I've gotta go through here and grab all the bees I can find, like this one, that one, and that's what I'm gonna do next. Looks like, obviously, bees are blues. I'm trying not to make that general assumption. All right, from what I can tell, the bees kind of like range, so I'm just going to start by pulling the markers themselves and then finding them on here. I've got my peas and now I'm going to go ahead and color them in and I'll be back and show you guys the cards. All right, got my peas on this card and then all of them up here on this one. So now... I think I'm going to pull Thank you. 
I cannot find one of the yellows. It's Y13 chestnut brown. We're just gonna table it and move on. I think I'm gonna try to complete this one. So I'm gonna start pulling for my R's. So I finished that, except I'm missing one R. Um, so I took a quick look, couldn't find it, but that's fine. I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna do, I think, Fs and Ws. So that completes this card and this card. Now I have to fill in these, which are gonna be my greens. All right, I'm finished. That actually took <laughs> over an hour, but I finished. 